In this video, let's talk about required root parameters with default values. So previously, we talked about required root parameters. So for example, we have this root template that has a required parameter, which is size. So which means that in order to map or match this root template, you have to have a root path that is something like slash categories slash one or slash categories slash media. So you have to provide the size segment. But what if you want to ignore that size segment, but expect it to be populated with a default value? For example, if I just want to from the broader go to slash categories, but then when I do that, I expect the server to take me to slash categories slash medium, right? which means that the medium, this word is the default value of the size parameter. In that case, your root template has to be written differently. So you use curly braces as per normal. And then you say you provide the parameter name. Now you use equal sign and then you provide the default value, which is medium in this case. So this is the syntax of providing a required parameter in the root template with a default value. Basically, it's just curly brace parameter name equals parameters default value. So let's give it a try in our application here. Let's create a different endpoint handler. So endpoints map to map get and slash categories and size. So when I do this, you would definitely have to provide the size parameter value. But if I say size equals to medium, and then I'm going to say get categories in size, and then I provide the size value over here. Then let's run the application and go to slash categories. So you run it first. All right. And then let's go to slash categories. And now you can see that it doesn't actually redirect us to slash categories slash medium. It just uses medium as the default value immediately. But if you provide actual value here in the root path, then that actual value is going to be used. It change to small, then the value of that parameter becomes. So with default value, you can have your root template map to a path without providing that segment. That's the purpose. And also, you have flexibility of making more than one segment use a default value. For example, even the categories, I can say that the categories can be even provided. And let's say the default category is shirts. So imagine that we are creating a e-commerce web application and we need users to provide us with information in order to retrieve the product information from the backend database. So here we want the user to provide categories and then provide the size with this slash categories slash size. We provide some default parameter here. And when we do that, guess what? The default root path will be mapped to this. Right, so let's give it a try. Now you no longer see the 404 not font dummy page anymore. You're seeing this because the default path is matched to this, right? Because you're not providing anything, the first parameter, therefore it's going to use shirts. And then you're not providing anything to the second parameter. That's why it's using media. So what you see here right, is basically just slash shirts slash media. This is what you got. So in order to make it more obvious, we're getting category, which category we're going to spell out that category. So put this one here and then here I'm going to say degree. Yeah, let's change this to category, which makes more sense. Okay, so category and size. And we will be seeing category, both category, right? And this is equivalent to slash shirts, right? Let's say we're going to change the one to large, then this one becomes large. Let's say we change this one to computer, computers, right? Then the category becomes computers and size become large. Well, we don't have a large computer, but you get what I mean. With this flexibility, there's some limitation here. So the limitation is that the default value can only be used as the last segment, right? So either you don't provide anything for the entire pass, which is mapped to this root template or you provide the first one, leaving the second one empty so that the second one can use the default value. What you cannot do is to just provide the second one without 
providing the first one. So again, you don't have to provide anything. That's okay. But if you provide something, then you have to provide the first part. So imagine I change this to even more complicated. So category, size, and the last one is, let's say, ID. Okay. And the default one is zero. So now the rule becomes this. You either provide the first parts, leaving the rest empty. And when you do that, the first segment is going to be whatever you provided and medium is going to be used for the second one and zero is going to be used for the last one. Or you provide these two, right? Leaving the last one. So you always have to leave the last one or the last ones to use default values. You cannot provide these two segments and expect this to be populated with the default value. So let's give it a try. All right. So we have this, which corresponds to, so shirts, medium, and zero. We're not showing zero, but this is what it is. And you can do shirts, then the size uses the default value. And you can do large, then the ID uses the default value. So we better have to show ID as well so that we can see exactly what I mean. Okay, so here an ID is ID. Copy and paste this and paste this over here. And this is ID. Okay, so we have some error here it's to be removed and try again. All right, so by default, everything uses the default value. So we have shirts inside medium, ID is zero. So shirts, medium, and zero, they're all default values. So this is what I'm saying. You have to provide your value at the front. So I'm going to provide shirts, then you see medium and zero are the default value. Maybe we change to computers. Now computers is used and got to remove this. We only provide it per computers, leaving the rest empty. And the rest will be taking the default value. Now you can also provide the second one and leaving the last one empty. So the last one is going to use uh, the default value. Of course, you can provide all of the values. So here I'm going to provide nine. And the last one is also going to use the value that is provided here. But you cannot say, OK, I'm going to all, only provide the size as well as the ID. And I expect the first root parameter to be using the default value. So when I do that, this is going to be mapped to the first segment. This is going to be mapped to the second segment and leaving the last one empty, which means the ID is going to be zero. So let's try. I'm going to hit enter and now you can see category is large size is nine id is zero right so you might be saying okay that's because you forgot about the slash so what if i just put slash here so that's the logic here right for the first segment i didn't provide any value here for the second segment i provide large and for the third segment i provide number nine and if i do this guess what not found for zero for dummy page so this is not valid Right? And if you just delete the slash here, then what you get is a wrong mapping. So that's what I'm saying. So if you have multiple segments like this, then you have to make sure that you provide your hard coded value at the front and you leave the segments that you want to use a default value at the end. And I hope that's clear. If any questions, please let me know. If not, I will see you in the next one.